Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. This is Daisy. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to print sublimation designs using the free graphic design program Inkscape. I'm going to show you how to work with the design, how to set up the printing preferences for sublimation printing, and how to print in different sizes. Let's go to Inkscape. If you don't have it yet, I recommend you to go to Inkscape.org and install it. Once installed, open the program and we're going to insert the image we're going to work with. Go to File, Import, open the folder that contains the image, select and open it. And here we're going to click OK. Here's the design. If you would like to use this image, I invite you to visit me on my website and download it for free. I will leave the link in the video description down below. Now we're going to select the size of the paper we're going to be printing. This is the window where we can change the size. But if you don't see it, Go to File and click on Document Properties. Now here you may select the size. Let's say we are going to print letter size. Select letter size and change the orientation to portrait or landscape. I will select portrait this time. And first, I will be printing a letter size sublimation design. Any part of the design that we place inside the rectangle will be printable. Whatever is outside is not going to print. We can resize the image using the arrows around it. Or go to the size bar above if you need to resize it to specific measurements. Select inches and add your measurements. Or like I mentioned before, you may resize it using the arrows around it. Once you have it with the right measurements, go to File and click on Print. Here we're going to select the printing preferences for sublimation printing. Select your sublimation printer, click on preferences. On document size, we're printing letter size. On paper type, we're going to select premium presentation paper mat. On quality, select high. Check on print preview. And go to more options. Remove high speed. And select mirror image. This step is very important, especially when we are printing text. Now click OK, then print. Here is the example of how it's going to print. Make sure it's on mirror mode, then click print again. Now we're moving to the next step. We're going to change the size of the Canva to 13 by 19 inches. This is if you have a wide format sublimation printer. In a minute, I will show you how to print big designs using a narrow sublimation printer. If that size is not on the list, we're going to input manually. First, change it to inches and then type the measurements 13 by 19 inches. Let's go to the lower right corner to minimize or maximize the Canva. 
Now resize the design to fit inside the Canva. Remember this is if you have a wide format printer. Once you have it to the desired measurement, print it using the same printing preferences we used before. Now I will show you how to print larger designs using a narrow format printer and letter size sublimation paper. To letter size and click on landscape. Now resize the image to fit the width of the Canva. I am printing this sublimation design to customize a garden flag. I need to print an 11 by 17 design. I will print it using two letter size sublimation papers. Here any part of the design that we put in the rectangle will be printable. I'm going to print the top part before. Let's go to File, Print, Printing Preferences. Make sure it still has the same printing preferences we selected at the beginning. After double checking the preferences, click on Print. And this is how it's going to print. That is the part that we placed inside the rectangle. It has a white border on the bottom. If you don't wish to have this border, let's go back and select borderless. As we can see, it does not have the border anymore. Now let's print it and do the same with the bottom part. Place the bottom part inside the rectangle. Leave a little extra of the design inside the Canva. Like this, we don't lose any part of it when putting the two pieces together. Now let's go to File, Print. Make sure you have the same printing preferences. Click on print and this is the preview. Let's go to the printer. Now I will show you how to put the two pieces together and to press it on the garden flag. Remember to visit me on my website to get the free design. I will leave the link in the video description down below. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video and press the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.